The major theme and focus of this video today will be on the enemy of my enemy is my friend and in combination with the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves aka controlled opposition. Now I am nearing 10,000 subscribers on this channel and I thank each and every one of you who have followed me over the last year and a half or so leaving friendly comments and giving me moral support this is what kept me going everybody ha who has watched my videos from the time that I supported the Bundys the Bundys up in Oregon when they went to Burns, Oregon to protest the treacherous, treasonous BLM government authority who was coming down on the ranchers, burning the ranchers' ranches, killing the ranchers. You have been following me ever since the Bundy affair in Oregon, all the way up to us combining our efforts and bringing Hillary Clinton to her knees. That's what this channel was all about. And I am happy to say that we have two victories under our belt. The Bundys were acquitted in Oregon just a couple weeks ago. The people of America stood up and said the Bundys were innocent. The people of America stood up and said Hillary Clinton is a crimin criminal. We will not let her walk into the White House. So we have two victories under our belts, and I celebrate it today with you. As I approach 10,000 subscribers, I celebrate with you. I thank each and every one of you, but I do have something to say that you may not be happy to hear. We got our two victories under our belt because we always spoke the truth. If you always speak the truth about government tyranny, about evil criminals, about wrong versus right, if you always speak the truth, then you cannot go wrong. And that's how we have progressed over the last year and a half or so. But I'm here to tell you that I'm not going to stop telling you the truth. The things I'm going to be telling you in the future are going to upset you. You're not going to understand it totally. It's going to confuse you and I'm going to lose many of you. Many of you will leave comments and say, I'm unsubscribing. Bravo Von Mueller. What have you done? You've turned on Trump. We cannot support you anymore. I'll hear many comments like that and I'll take it. I'll take whatever you have to say, but I will give you the truth. No matter what happens, no matter what Donald Trump does, no matter what the government does, no matter what tyranny does, I will tell you the truth. You will have to keep an open mind. You will have to dive into your own heart and soul, and you're going to have to make a decision on your own what the truth is. I'm just going to try to help lead you to the water. I cannot force you to drink the water. But I will tell you this, I do predict that I will lose many of you because this Trump train was an emotional train. It was an emotional train that I have not seen in my lifetime. Americans were hurting so bad. Americans are still hurting so bad with no jobs, no hope, no nothing that they latched on to that Trump train and they took it and Trump mowed down all the opposition. But I will tell you this, I did support Trump because I hated Hillary Clinton with every bone in my body. I knew how evil Hillary Clinton was and that's why I went with Donald Trump. That's more importantly, that's why I knew that Donald Trump would win. Because I knew how bad real Americans were hurting. I knew how bad Obama had led our country astray on this rainbow agenda. I knew how bad Americans felt, were feeling, we were in pain beyond belief. And that's why they all jumped on the Trump train. But having said that, 
I'm going to tell you the truth going forward. And now we're going to go and we're going to start on the truth. We're just going to base our videos and our commentary on the facts. All I'm going to do is relay the facts to you. Whatever Donald J. Trump does as a president of the United States, I'm just going to relay those facts to you. You're going to have to make up your own mind on what those conclusions are. So without further ado, let's get to the facts because Donald Trump is starting Starting to make decisions. Let's see how those decisions will affect your life. Well, first off, I've said this before. There's only a couple ways to get to the White House today. You either have to be a criminal or you have to be a dual citizen. But the dual citizens in charge, they are getting smarter. They're watching our videos. They understand that they're being exposed and they're coming up with even a better plan. This controlled opposition plan is to, okay, maybe we won't put the dual citizen himself in the office. Maybe we'll find a person, an American, who's married to a dual citizen. Oh, yeah, let's not leave that out of the equation today. As we go for forward with these Donald Trump decisions, remember, let's not leave out the person who Donald Trump is putting into power. Let's not leave out his wife. I can smell this setup from a thousand yards away. We've seen it before, haven't we? Controlled opposition. Alex Jones. How long did Alex Jones go on before it was exposed about his wife? And I'm not going to bring children into this. And, but the fact of the matter is, you will protect your wife and you will protect your children with every ounce and every power you have in your whole body. Your family is everything, and if your family is part of them, well, you are now the controlled opposition. They have control over you. So now we're going to go to the facts. Donald Trump is making some decisions, which I knew was coming. I mean, I, I, I saw these decisions coming months ago. A lot of you did. Many of you guys have left me messages telling me this was coming. But there are, like I said, this has been an emotional train ride. The, the Americans who suffered so badly over the last 20 years, they jumped on this Trump train with all their heart. And it's going to confuse them. Some of the, the decisions that Trump made makes is going to hurt them. And it starts today. Donald Trump is picking two men to his inner circle. So why don't we start with the chief of staff. That would be Reince Priebus. I think that's how he pronounces it. Everybody seems to get his name, pronounces his name wrong, and he has to inform people, no, it's not Reince Priebus, it's Reince Priebus. It kind of reminds me back when Tony Dorsett played for the Dallas Cowboys way back in the 80s there. Tony Dorsett, and everybody called him Tor Tony Dorsett, and then Tony came out and said, no, it's not Tony Dorsett, it's Tony Dorsett. Well, I don't really give a shit what your name is, Reins Prebus, but that's okay. Uh, that's the chief of staff. That's who Donald Trump is going to pick for his chief of staff. Now, it turns out that Prebus is extremely rich. Yes, his net worth is huge. So I want to ask a couple questions here. Uh, did he own a corporation? Did he own a business? Well, I could not find any evidence that he had a major corporation or a major business where he got extremely wealthy through hard work. I couldn't find that. I did find out that he's been with the government forever. I did find out that he is a trained lawyer. So we're talking about a man who, out of lawyer school, goes straight to government, and then he gets extremely, extremely rich. Now, this is what Americans were tired of. Lawyers, criminals, and government. Or maybe his wife, family, is one of those dual citizen family, one of those privileged families where they just make a phone call to the Federal Reserve Bank and say, could you push that button and give me $20 billion? I'm part of the group, you know, I'm part of you. We have to stick together as us small, little, elite group of people who control the Federal Reserve. 
We have to stick together. Now push that damn button. Give me $20 billion. And I mean, is his wife rich? We don't know because they are leaving out. They are, they are omitting pertinent details. They're leaving out important facts to the overall picture. Oh, they tell us. And they make a fact. Don't, don't forget this. They really push it out there. Oh, don't forget, Mr. Priebus is of Greek heritage. Yes. Cover story? Well, you have to make... I'm just going to tell you the facts. Like I said, I'm going to lose many of you. I'm going to lose many, many subscribers here. You're going to think I'm some wacko out on some conspiracy trip. I'm here to tell you that every branch of our government, government at the executive position is a dual citizen, or he's married to a dual citizen, or he's a shill, you see. The Republicans and the Democrats don't have to tell me anything. I know all about these people by taking one look at them. They don't have to tell me nothing. But then their words do prove. What I already know in my heart, their words already prove it. You see, he's of Greek heritage, but he tells everybody to have a happy holiday season. Even this man, who's supposed to be one of us, who's supposed to be an American of Greek heritage, he can't even say Merry Christmas because it just doesn't go with his new family. So it's happy holidays for Reins Prebus. And then he has other words that he, he doesn't hide his agenda. That's one thing about Mr. Prebus. He does not hide his agenda at all. And that's why he's been picked. You see? So like I say, you make up your own mind. I'm just going to show you his words. I'm just going to show you his agenda. You do whatever. You, you make up your own mind. I don't care at this point. I really don't care. I'm just, out, I'm just out for the facts, the truth. That's all I care about is the truth. Okay then. So now, now that leads us to the second pick of Donald Trump in his inner circle. That would be the man on the left there, Bannon. Now Bannon is with uh, Breitbart, I believe. Now it turns out that Bannon made a fortune being involved with the Seinfeld TV show. Wow, isn't that kind of interesting? So Bannon is part of those group of people who was with the Seinfeld show. Well, that tells me a lot right there, doesn't it? And of course, I'm sure there's many, many of you are big fans of Breitbart, so I'll, I'm going to get a lot of hate, hate on this one, I swear to God. The comments, I expect them to be pretty hateful. But... How, how can we deny the facts? If these people are the controlled opposition, if they're trying to manipulate us, if they're trying to omit certain pertinent details, if they're leaving out important facts to the overall picture, I mean, what do they think I am, stupid? No, I'm not totally stupid. So it's amazing Donald Trump, his t first two picks... His first two picks to his inner circle, chief of staff, would be Reins Prebus and his agenda. And, of course, then we got the other guy. We just talked about him, Bannon, who's with Breitbart. Yes. So, what do you think about this? I'm sure... If you, if you think I'm wrong, go ahead, leave some comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. If, if I'm totally off base here, if I'm really that wacko they say I am, correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment. Tell me how I'm wrong that our government hasn't, has not been taken over. Tell me how I'm wrong how these people don't blackmail our congressmen and blackmail our senators and they control all of mainstream media. They control Hollywood. And now we're putting these people back in charge. Or I correct myself, they never left. No, they have never left the building. They have been in control the whole time. And like I said, the focus of this video would be the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So that leads us to one of us, one of our enemies. Any, if, if Ben Shapiro says this is good news, okay? If old dual citizen Ben Shapiro says this is good news that Ryan Prebus is going to be the chief of staff, well, then that means it's bad news to me. You see? That's what I'm talking about. If Mr. Shapiro says it's good news 
for him and his family. Well, I know it's bad news for me and my family. It's just That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. I mean, and uh, we're going to have lots of people talking about this over, over the next week. You see, Donald Trump tried to give all to the decisions. There was a cover story that Donald Trump was going to let his vice president, Pence, do all the picking of the cabinet. You see, that's a cover story. Because Donald Trump is not stupid. Donald Trump is a very smart man. He knows who put him into office. Donald Trump knows it's the alt-right. It's the real Americans who have suffered. The real Americans who are in pain. We, the ones who know the truth now, we're the ones who put him in office. Donald Trump knows this. But he understands that if he wants to get anything done in Washington, D.C., he's going to have to play ball with these criminals. So Donald Trump is stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'll give him that much. He's going to try to play this game both ways. It's going to be very, very difficult. He's going to try to pick the insiders who have connections to the dual citizens. Donald Trump is going to try to pick them, but he may try to blame it on Michael Pence. If, if Americans rise up and say, we don't want any more dual citizens in government, we don't want these traitorous, treasonous bastards in government no more, then Donald Trump can say, okay, Mike Pence, you're not picking my people anymore. I'm going to pick it myself. But I don't see that. Americans don't care anymore. Americans... It's not that Americans don't care. Most Americans don't even know we've been taken over. They don't realize that the executive branches in every government is sits one of these dual citizens. That's why I make these videos to try to tell Americans that we've been taken over. There has been a coup d'etat. We were taken over many years ago, and now they sit up at the top of their ivory towers. They sit on their crown, and they make decisions for us. And we don't even know they're there. They're called the shadow government. We don't even know their names half the time. But we know who they are, don't we? We know who they are. And I'm going to expose them. Every time Donald Trump and Mike Pence pick one of these dual citizens or one of these dual citizen shills or they're married to a dual citizen, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to expose them. Yes, I know. I'll lose many of you. I don't care. If I get down to one subscriber, I don't care because I know at least that one sub subscriber, that one last subscriber knows the truth, that we've been taken over. We've been taken over by a foreign power who also controls our money. And I don't know how this is going to end, really. I mean, I think that one day Americans will do the right thing. I hope and pray. But when they, when the enemy controls our money, we're, we're in bad shape. That's probably the ticket. That's the answer. If we can take away their printing press, if we can take away the Federal Reserve and their buttons, if we can take those billions and trillions of dollars away from our enemy, then maybe, maybe we can take back our country. That's, but that's where we're at today. Take it or leave it. That's the truth. It all, and do, but I'll leave you with it. It all hinges on the Federal Reserve System and all those billions of dollars they give to certain people. They don't, and remember, they don't give them to you and me. They don't push a button and give Bravo Vamula a billion dollars. You know who they give the billions of dollars to? They give them to certain people. And guess what? It's not you and I.